After a year on HRT, the changes are definitely noticeable. And I'd like to talk about what's gone for the last six months since my previous update. This episode of Stacey Links Presents will be my one year update. I'll be right back. Welcome to my channel. I'm Stacy. This episode will be my one year HRT update. I last did my update on here at my six month. If you haven't seen that video, I will tag it up here right now so you can go check it out. But in this episode, I'm going to talk about some more mental and emotional changes that I've experienced. Plus, I'll talk about more physical stuff that I've noticed have changed. So before I get started, what I'll get you to do if you're new to this channel and you're a transgender person interested in fashion, makeup, and jewelry, go down below in this video and hit that subscribe button. And be sure to hit the little bell beside to be notified 30 minutes before each of my vlog premieres and anytime I upload new content to my channel. I have playlists with videos on my makeup routines, tips and tricks, and product reviews you will love to see. Plus, I'm doing advocacy for the LGBTQIA community and documenting my journey as a transgender parent. Also, be sure you're following me on social media. I'm on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and on TikTok. Check the description below in this video for all my social media links. So, in the last six months, there hasn't been a lot of mental and emotional changes. There's been some additional mental clarity and emotional stability. I've noticed a boost in my confidence and I'm a lot more outgoing than I used to be. And I think that a lot of this is due to the company that I have here with us right now. In other words, Megan, between being on HRT and having her in our life has definitely been a help in my confidence and in being more outgoing. More noticeable changes are physical changes. First, I've noticed changes with my hair and my nails. And especially since I moved up to six milligrams, my hair growth has accelerated. My nails are growing much faster than they used to. And I'm getting more body and volume to my hair. It's getting wavier. It feels a lot softer. As for the rest of my body hair, it's been getting a lot softer. Not necessarily finer, but definitely softer. Breast growth has definitely been still going in the last six months. I've noticed some growth continuing. I do still have tenderness in around the areolas and up in this area here, in the muscle. But the best thing to do is just to massage them. And sometimes it's nice to have somebody else do it for you. Now the next one that's been very noticeable is changes to my face. I've noticed that it's starting to round out more in this area. My cheeks are starting to lift up more than they used to be. Those are really the, the most profound changes that I've noticed. The other thing I've noticed too with my face is a lot of the fine lines are starting to go away. Some of that has to do with being on HRT and the other part of that has to do with my prep routine before I do my makeup. With the products that I use and vitamin serum and uh, facial moisturizer. Still on my face though, I do notice that my facial hair uh, growth and thickness has gone down. So the growth, I've noticed it, the regrowth is slowed. And I notice that it's a lot softer and makes it a little easier to shave. I'm hoping eventually I won't have to shave every single day. So a couple of less noticeable things. Uh, one thing that uh, we discovered is that I've lost about an inch in length of my legs. Uh, Megan and I measured my legs the other day and we discovered that they're an inch shorter than how they used to be. So that's a thing. Something else that's been less noticeable has been hip changes. I haven't really noticed any serious change in my hip width. Now, I do know that there is more padding in the caboose. 
but measuring my hip circumference doesn't seem to be much bigger than it used to be. It's still a little over 38 inches, so we'll see over the course of the next six months how my hips decide to change. They have been sore recently and been trying to crack my hip bones and they don't seem to be wanting to shift very easily. So maybe we'll have to see if Megan can work out my lower back and I can crack my hip joints. But you know, after a year, there's a lot of things that can change and doesn't necessarily change for everyone. Like some people will get hip changes and no breast growth, you know? So I just feel fortunate for what changes I have experienced and hope to see more positive change in the future. All right, so thanks for watching. Be sure to hit that thumbs up button down below and drop a comment. If you've been on HRT for at least a year, tell me about some of the positive changes you've experienced. And be sure to stay tuned for my next episode, and I'll see you then. Bye!